up? Welcome back to another episode of the CEO Pulse Podcast, where you get the real, the raw, and the mind of entrepreneurship. I love the Mindset Monday episodes, man. I mean, they really set me up for the rest of the week. Sometimes I'm feeling groggy. And, and when we start having these conversations and, and really getting into the weeds of, of uh, what happened to us like last week in terms of mindset, like there's a lot of awareness that, you know, just kind of, you know, flourishes yeah. to the top. And, and uh, one of the things, um, and you actually brought this topic today, I think it's right on point. It's we can only rise to the level of our systems, right? Um, the first thing that came to mind when you, when you uh, suggested that topic was systems, processes, KPIs. And then my, my whole, you know, my mind went into the whole performance side of things. Yeah. And then uh, you, you mentioned, what about health? You know, what about your, your mindset? Uh, what about your relationships? Those are systems as well. And, and I mean, it's a whole different context. It's a whole different take on a very, very common expression that we hear all the time, right? We can only raise our success, raises, uh, uh, rises to the level of our, our, of our systems. Absolutely. Uh, but, you know, what are those systems, right? Yeah. What yeah, are we what's your about? process? What's your yeah. strategy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, that's a really cool intro uh, with my co-host, Justin Thorstad. <laughs> <laughs> See, I did it backwards today, unintentionally, but uh, but it worked out. We always make time for priorities. Yeah, check one, check one, <laughs> well, man, man. All right, cool. Just cut me out today. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Bring you beautiful so, topic. So, discussion. well, that's how like mind blowing the topic was. You yeah, know you're what just I mean? so yes. enthralled and, yes. and entrenched in this yeah. that. We well, I mean, I didn't rise to the level of that system, right? I, I guess I got to fine tune that system. The <laughs> So, no, but with that, uh, with that being said, man, let, let, let's crack it open because yeah. I think it's a very, very important um, cue for awareness. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, so um, those different like facets of our life, those different dimensions, uh, what's your process for approaching that? I mean, most people, in my experience, yeah. are just on autopilot. <clears throat> you know, they're just running through the normal motions. And but then inevitably you have people like, oh, man, I don't like this part of my life. I don't like that part of my life. And it's like it's not being done to you. No. How are you responding to it? Like, are you paying attention? Are you being objective? And do you even know what you want to create in that area of your life? I think most people aren't even clear about answering that question fundamentally, because like if you want to elevate a, a result in your life, a facet, your health, let's say. Have you even sat down to articulate and identify what does point B look like? Like, what do you want to accomplish? Because without that, <clears throat> you're like, well, what strategy should I use? Well, it doesn't really matter because yeah. you don't know where you're going. So any road will get you there. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what is it that you want to elevate? And then that's going to be like the strategy will become more self-evident. You'll receive awarenesses. I know like we talk a lot about we're struggling with something in our lives and we're like, gosh, man, I just want to get my hands on some information about this. Yeah. And we'll just be going through our day, completely forgot about the whole idea. And all of a sudden, boom, someone will bring up a book, right? Yeah. Or a podcast or something that they heard. You're like, oh, my God, that was exactly what I was looking for. Yeah. Right. So. Well, I, I think a couple of things happen, right? Uh, or happen in that in that sense. Uh, one, your reticular activating system is triggered. Now you're you're paying attention, subconscious attention to to cues and, and a lot of stuff that's going around us uh, that's in alignment to that one thing that we're looking for. Uh, but you're also in, you're also in alignment. So yeah. so I think you know energetically, you know, we put ourselves in that path. Um, I I think I mean <clears throat> one of the things that to me was a like a um, a reality check. Uh, when we started talking about this was was the fact that I automatically went to the doingness of things. I went to You're surprised to the uh, to yeah right <laughs> to the uh, pragmatic side of okay business okay but, you know the level of my system systems correlate to business right mm -hmm. by default in my head yes yeah. um, but what about life what about the relationships what about your your uh, your mindset right your your mental and spiritual well being yeah. Um, so your finances, it's your finances, it. yeah. health well, relations. So if we kind of broke it down in, in five, you know, five different areas, right? One of them being mindset. Um, the second one being uh, the professional uh, space, your health, your relationships and your financial. Yeah. Um, real real realm. quick though, but like, so hopefully the people that are watching, whether you're on IG live or you're reviewing this later on YouTube, uh, before you get into like taking notes on the content, I would strongly suggest that you sit down and write out, okay, so those five facets of life, right? What is it I really want there? Yeah. Because you said something about <clears throat> like, you know, you can attract things to you, solutions, strategies, resources, right? And um, if it aligns. Mm -hmm. Well, alignment, I, I mean, I really look at that as 
like resonance, right? Because everything in this universe is energy. This table is made up by mass of molecules held together by energy. Same right. with our bodies, this cup, everything, right? So everything's vibrating at a certain speed rate. Right. And so what is your vibration in regards to your <coughs> intention, right? So this comes down to a simple intention versus mechanism. What's more important for you to succeed? And you'd have to agree, and for the sake of time, we won't get into a long explanation, but when you when the intention's clear, the mechanism will appear. Yeah. It'll unfold. It'll be shown to you. But that's because you're crystal clear and therefore have an elevated vibration about your intention on what yeah. you desire to create. And now you're in alignment with it, yeah. and it unfolds. Yeah. And that's why we say the hustle and grind is dead. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. No, I, I, uh, I love it, man. I couldn't agree more. Um what are uh, let's let's talk a, a little bit about the, you know the the systems right and and again the the stigma with the word system um, I feel like it's it's very mechanical it's very mm -hmm. um, you know regimented it's, yeah yeah it, it's it's almost like it's a it's a word that belongs um, in the uh, in the business space yeah right yeah. in the professional space in the doingness space. Um, um, but, uh, you know, as opposed to, you know, the, the mental mindset or, mm -hmm. you know, the spiritual, like, but the I mean, anything that has a process behind it, like what's your ritual, like anybody who has a morning ritual uh, or a routine, right? That's a system. That's, you know, that's something that's in place to, uh, to set you off, uh, into the day intentionally, right? hundred <clears> percent. <throat> yeah. So let's, let's talk about that then. So yeah. mindset is a, a facet of your life. What's your system to create a bigger, better version of you. Like yeah. if you want to create a new personal reality, it's going to come through a new personality. So what's your process every single day? That's a system. Yeah. Yep. And so a lot of people, well, I, I just think a lot of content that people um, uh, absorb, um, digest that's out there when it comes to this, these kinds of conversations is you got to be disciplined. Yeah. And it's like, if you really ask yourself or you hear that you got to be disciplined, it's like, yeah, that's what I need. I need more discipline. It's like, but you're not. And if you take a look at it vibrationally, what's your relationship to that word disciplined? Yeah. Right? It's got a negative connotation. <clears throat> so I don't think it takes discipline at all. At all. I don't think I'm that much of a disciplined person. Yet I'm really super consistent at the things that matter to me. Yeah. Right? So again, the intention of, okay, mindset. Why should that be important to me? Well, let's discuss that because that's, that's a pretty broad category, right? Mindset, we're talking about spirituality. What do you believe in as a higher power? that's guiding and directing and, you know, <clears throat> helping orchestrate these things. What's your relationship to it in regards to, well, do you think you're separate from it and subordinate to it? Or are you connected and it's all one and mindset in regards to your, your thought process, your, your, your psychology, yeah, your you, programming, your conditioning, yeah. right? Your belief, belief systems, systems and your self image that are naturally driving behavior. Yeah. yeah? So mindset, I think the most important category, that's why we started with it first. Yeah. yeah. Because, Whatever the mind is set to, those belief systems, they set up bias filters. <clears throat> it's, it determines what we take in. Yeah. We could even have a situation unfold, and because of our belief systems, it'll distort what actually happened to fit what we believe and expect to see. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like everything comes from there. It's systemic. And without addressing that, so as we're talking about these other facets, right, the health, the finances, if you're like, yeah, but I'm overweight, I got no energy, and I'm broke. Great. That you created that from the current mindset and the system you have. Like even if you don't have a system, that's a system. Um, the 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 incredible part is that I mean, if you step back and look at the 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 whole thing, right? Everything is a system. Everything is systemic, like you just said, right? What can we do with systems? We can improve You know, we can pr improve systems. We can change. Systems. How do you improve without a system? Yeah. Right. Like yeah. If if you want to see, okay. The uh, efficiency and the effectiveness of my system, look at the results you produce. Yeah. Yes? And if you're not getting the results you want, you, why don't you just measure, track yeah. what's happening? And like, if you can measure it and you can track it, you can change it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because nothing's being done to you. It's your call. Yeah. So <clears throat> the morning practice or ritual, that doesn't take discipline. It takes well, desire. Like, I want to do this, not because I'm insufficient, I'm not enough, and I have to change or else. No, no, no. That's resistant. When I'm talking about a morning ritual, it's like, it's sacred. I get to do this for me. Because when we're done with our morning practice, I mean, I'm speaking for you right now, and I believe I have the uh, authority to do so, because we do it because w who we are when we're done, our state of being, 
yeah. is so elevated and we get to take that version of us through the rest of our day until we don't, you know, yeah. get triggered or, you know, lose your shit and go unconscious, right? But that's the goal. And if you want to have bigger, better results and a bigger, better life, it's going to come from an elevated version of you. Yeah. So what's your system to prime your state before you even leave the house? <clears throat> <coughs> it's important to understand too that not everything can be can be theoretical, right? A lot of a lot of times it's, it's it's no, you know what we're gonna you know I'm gonna sit there and then just you know reflect on everything and think about things and, and then just process you know feelings and emotions and triggers and all kinds of shit through our you know just in my mind. Like no, you have to you have to put you know the hammer to the nail per se. You know sometimes right you have sure. to put in you know effort. the the, uh, the uh, exactly the effort the intention to to uh, to move to to uh, to create that space of well-being um, one of them you know for me being the morning morning ritual it, it's a non-negotiable mm. like it's something that happens every single every single you know morning for me um, because I it I feel like I would have gone crazy by now if if I didn't have that space oh, yeah, that sure. me space in the morning right yeah and it's a it's a ritual. It's not not a really. It's not really a routine. Sometimes it changes, but the space, the, the you know, the timeline, you know, between five and ten, it's pretty much you know, it's all about you know, me spending time with the kids, dropping them off, working out, you know, doing doing the me thing, right? Yeah, Whatever that means, cup. filling my own cup. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then you know, nine thirty, ten rolls around. And then I get you know into into work mode and then the the taskiness of things and you know putting fires out and whatever the the, the regular stuff that we deal with as yeah. entrepreneurs. Um, but if that that cup is not filled or, or nourished in the morning, man, the the rest of the day just feels uh, reactive. <clears throat> yeah, feels reactive and it feels like uh, mm. you know like it's gotten out of uh, you know out of hand or out of my control. Right, yeah, chaotic. Yeah, chaotic. So, so that morning ritual is—it's really a system for me to walk, you know, out of the house and into the world uh, in in this, you know, better, yeah. you know, holding a better space for everything well, that's coming, right? Yes, and and so here's the value of that. Really, that this is my attempt to enroll people to get a morning practice. If you think about it, like for example, here's here's my morning practice. Very first thing, sit down, gratitude. What am I grateful for? Yeah. Right. Okay. What is that elevi- elevating? My spirituality, I'm connecting, yes, emotionally speaking. Yeah. I go sit down to meditate, to quiet my mind and body, remind myself that I'm the one witnessing my mind and body. Yeah. And the crazy amount of downloads, you know, just awarenesses that come through. Yeah. Solutions to a problem I had yesterday that I totally forgot about even dwelling on it. Boom, there's a solution. Like that to me is spirituality, right? Like they say prayer is talking to God and meditating is listening. Right. Mm. So I think you got <clears throat> one mouth and two ears for a reason. So you can listen twice as much as you talk. So what are you listening to? What are you connecting with? Yeah. Yeah. Music or the divine. It, Call me crazy. So now uh, after that, it's movement. Yeah. So what facets that's going to be in our physicality, our health. But that also supports mindset. Yeah. Because if you're irritated, you woke up pissed off, angry, don't want to show up today, right? And you go move your body, how do you feel? Ready to go. Yeah. <clears throat> the, right? The, uh, the Happier, uh, better mood? 100%. 100%. Um, we have to take care of the vehicle, right? Yeah. Like, we have to take care of the vehicle as well, being the body, being the, uh, you know, the health, you know, portion of things. Um, I, I, I would, I, oh, I mean, for the longest time, I was waking up in the mornings, and then I would go straight to, to uh, meditating, um, and then that kind of started, I felt like the effect started to taper and I was like, all right, I'm going to switch a couple of things here and there. And then I started. So now what I do is I'll wake up and then 20 minutes later, I'm at the gym. Um, so I go straight into movement first and I, I listen, really? I'm, I'm the guy that listens to audiobooks at the gym and, instead of music. And I, I don't know, it's like, I'll be listening to like the power of intention by Wayne Dyer and then going, you know, maxing out on raps and like, I don't know, it's crazy. It just motivates me in the morning. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um, so, so it's, the system is going to work for you. Like it, it's, uh, we, all, we all have, um, different triggers. We all have different, you know, things that are going to kind of, you know, do it. And, and, and it doesn't mean that it can't change. Uh, you know, that's the, the it's part of the improvement process. Right. Mm-hmm. I think that yeah. goes goes uh, into into play as well. So. So like right now, for example, the uh, to me, again, it's, it's I wake up, I go, you know, go to the gym with my son. Uh, we spend the first couple hours of the morning together. Um, this happens at five in the morning. And uh, and when I come back, I usually have about 30, 40 minutes 
um, before I have to go drop them off at the bus stop. Okay. So I, I, I go, you know, take my, my, I make my coffee, go straight into my office at home, and I'll, I'll sit down for a meditation session. And like, that's, that's when I kind of reflect, but it's, um, it, I don't know. I, I don't know if it's because I already engaged the body that it don't feel so busy. I don't feel like I have Ooh. something, you know, that I, that I have, that I got to rush to, to go knock yeah. it out. So that, you know, that's working well. Uh, and, you know, that switch on the, uh, to me, you know, it, 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 uh, it, it did a good click. Again, uh, there's, there's, I mean, you go, you know, straight into meditation in the mornings. And I know you, you're always like, you have this mobility, you know, thing, uh, ice baths and, and all yeah. kinds of just, yeah. you know, different stuff, right? You have this whole different approach on, on, on how you go about your, mm-hmm. your morning um, process, your system. Um, the important thing is to understand that there's going to be so many different options, yeah. right? To work yeah. on your on your mindset. The thing is to figure out what clicks, right? What resonates with you and then try it out. Give it enough time to work. Yeah. So I, I think the biggest thing uh, why people don't get started with a morning ritual, a practice, yeah. is because they don't know what to do and what order to do it in. But I'm just here to tell you, like, you're full of shit if that's what's holding you back. Because mm-hmm. there is no, like, the way. They're just all a way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. And so... What I really want to encourage people to do is like, just start with something, maybe just three items, right? Yeah. Even if they're 10 minutes each, just get started. Yeah. And yeah, play with it and notice, how do I show up in my day? What if I were to move this one on top first and then go in this order? Like yeah. every body is different. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I, for me, when I do movement first, because a good friend of mine, when we go do sessions, um, his morning ritual that I go through with him is way different than mine. And it doesn't quite work for me because we go for a long run and then do some, you know, hit cardio type stuff and then sit down and meditate for 45 minutes. And I'm like, my body is so awake and alive yeah. that to quiet it down and get it to uh, acquiesce is a challenge. Yeah. So it takes me a long time to get where I want to go with my meditation. So it doesn't work for me, but it works for you. Right. Yeah. But for you, like getting out that energy and so forth causes you calmness. To me, it wakes me up. Yeah. So the, there is no <clears throat> right answer. It's what's right for you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, there's there's always going to be a different, you know, uh, trigger per it, se. It's personalized, <clears throat> for yeah. sure. Um, but, the, but, the, but that's just it. Like, you got to look at this practice as giving to you, and it's about building the relationship with yourself, yeah. because then you can give that throughout your day. Like, you can't give something you don't possess, right? Yeah. So it's about why are you doing the practice? And if the practice is just simply to show myself, like, a sign of honor, yeah. That I care about me, that I love me, and I want to give to yeah. me, so I have to give to the others in the world. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, how do you show up great and contribute something of value to all your relationships yeah. if you don't have a good relationship with yourself? No, you have to hold that space. You have to you, you have to give yourself the space to hold it in the first place. Exactly. <laughs> you got to create it, Yeah, you know, so you can give it. Yeah. And it may feel like, if, you, if you're the type of person, maybe like us, right, uh, a while back, uh, that was going on like the Energizer Bunny, you know, 24-7, and you felt like if you slowed down for 10 minutes, you were wasting time. Um, or you didn't have 10 minutes to sit down and work on your 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 morning, you know, ritual or y- your mindset system. Um, th- that's even the more reason why you need to do it. Exactly. It it, uh, yeah. it creates clarity. It creates a relation, uh, like a stronger bond. Believe it or not, it may sound weird, but it creates a stronger bond with yourself, within yourself. Um, that whole self love, self understanding, uh, the self awareness, the um, the the feeling of um, worthiness. You know, it doesn't come by reading a fucking book. No. It comes by sitting there and appreciating who you are. The way you do that is by staying in silence and actually um, reflecting on yourself, right? Meditating upon the things that are good, gratitude, um, mm. everything that comes at you as a far as opportunities on a daily basis and the person who you're uh, showing up as. Well, you just said you, it. Like You can't have that conversation with somebody else. You can't pick it up in a book. You have, like, that's a you and you thing. You have to experience it. Yeah. Right? Which means yeah. you're going to have to go do it. You're going to exactly. have to implement the information yeah. and execute and take action. But because you can. Yeah. Not because if, well, if I don't, this will bad thing will happen. No, I'm going to do this not because I need to, but simply because I can. Yeah. And if I can and it would give <clears throat> to me, why wouldn't I do that? Yeah. So when that desire is there, you'll want to approach your practice as like a mad scientist. Yeah. Let me do these couple things that I think 
That's my best guess. I, and then let me move around the order and give it a couple days and then move this and do, give that a couple days. Like you get to do that. Brother, I'm my favorite experiment. Right? Dude, if you're <laughs> going to study something, you <laughs> might as well study you. With, you're going to be in there yeah. your entire life. <clears throat> but the important thing that you said is it's about um, building the relationship with yourself. Think about yeah. that. Break it down. Building the relationship with your self, yeah. your personality. It's something you have. It's not who you are. Yeah. And, you you know, a lot of people hate their personality because it says negative shit, gives you bad advice, and you're resisting it. It's like, it ain't going nowhere, man. You're yeah. not operating without it. So you might as well learn how to work in collaboration with it in partnership because yeah. you're both going to the same destination, wherever the hell that is. You might want to get clear. Yeah. You'll work with yourself. Yeah. So, and... That Cre unobserved part of your create, personality. Uh, a system gives you clarity, right? Uh, you can't rise you know, any higher than whatever you have in place as far as the system. Yeah. It's going to give you clarity. It's going to give you um, a, a way deeper understanding, and it's going to give you consistency as well. Yeah. If you have a way of, you know, something that's, for example, something super, like, stupid simple that I started doing, uh, and I was not the calendar guy. I was not, no, 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 I don't need a calendar. Like, oh, I feel like it's silly to give somebody, oh, put somebody on my calendar. Like, How long ago was this? Who the fuck am I to have a calendar? <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like, that really was my thought process. How, how long ago? Um, I'm, maybe a couple of years. Really? Two, three years, yeah. So it wasn't, I, I was not, like, now if it's not in the calendar, it's not happening. Yeah, it but you know exist. what? I'll, you know, in my calendar, I have gym time. I have me time. Mm -hmm, I have mm -hmm. time blocks for, for me in there as yeah. opposed to just kind of shooting from so that's a very simple system to implement right and it's um it's uh it, it, it's actually the foundation for some of the the most important areas of my life time blocking is huge mm -hmm. right um giving myself that uh that um that space to be with me you know m me with me in the mornings yeah right it's not just you know my mornings are, my system in the mornings is not just about me again i spend you know time with my wife my kids and yeah, uh, but you said like um, what, what you, like five hours? Yeah, I mean, I spend a lot of time with her. No, so I wake up at five. The first couple hours are <laughs> that they wake up at five, um, and by five thirty, my son and I are at the gym. We usually come back around six forty-five, right? Uh, six twenty-ish. I'm dropping him off at the bus stop. I come back. I, sp I have a I have you know window of time before my wife goes to work. So I spend, you know, some time with her while she's making coffee and mm -hmm. doing her thing, right? Yeah. Then I come back and I drop off my son at 8 at school. So I drop them both off. Okay. Um, and then at, by 8, 15, 8, 20, um, you know, I'm back home. It's kind of my space, right? So I have a good hour and a half uh, just to figure out, you know, nice. me, my day, yeah. to cr uh, journal. And, uh, and then, you know, around 9.30, I start to execute. So what I so heard it, is... It flies. Like yeah, it, flies. It, it really does. <clears throat> like my morning practice is 90 minutes for sure. Um, but I, it's not involving the, the kids and stuff, but just yeah. the, the me time. But what I heard you say is you drop one kid off at school yeah, and one at the bus stop. Yeah. Does he get pissed off about that? What do you mean? Well, he doesn't get a ride to school. He's got to take the bus. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not jealous. He has going to be driving in, in, yeah, in, uh, in about two weeks. So. Poking fun. <laughs> um, but yeah, so mindset. What's yeah. your system yeah. to elevate the results in your <clears> life? Because... It, everything stems from the mindset, your and beliefs. <clears throat> let, let me and let me uh, just connect something there because I, I, I think I didn't make a, an emphasis on it. Um, to me, big part of my mindset is feeling good about legacy. If you wanna, if you wanna say it that way. Sure. Legacy is just. I mean, it, it, to me, it's really what you're, you're leaving behind in terms of advice and and you know beliefs and and morals, right? So to me, it's important to have those conversations with my kids in the morning. Um, yeah, that man, sets beautiful. me up. Yeah. I mean, I can tell you, like, one of the questions that I ask uh, uh, my both of my kids this morning is, like, what are you excited about today? They're like, oh, I don't know. I got nothing. Like, well, think about it because I'm going to ask you again this afternoon. Yeah. Right? But it's it's planting those little seeds that I do them. F I, I think I do them for them. But they, I mean, they make me feel good. You know what I mean? Like, when I'm doing that kind of stuff in, from a space of love, it nourishes my mindset. Yeah. So well, it's it's and you're giving it. Yeah, too. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> you're definitely a role model for a uh, father figure, man. I uh, much respect. Well, thank you. Yeah, no, really, sincerely. And uh, and you know what I mean? And, and that that kind of that kind of, you know, sets me up in, in, in a really good space. Now yeah. I got to hold it. So, uh, it, you know, it becomes this. this At least you got like something to hold. This give and take. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it gives this, you know, it creates this give and take, uh, you know, space of growth, right? But it's part of the whole mindset morning. Yeah. Like, really, for me, that's part of my system. 100%. So, yeah. um, 
I, I think we have a hierarchy here, but what what's the next one you want to discuss? Um, so we had the second one was professional, right? Professional. We're talking about professional systems. Yeah, um, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna botch our plan here. I'd like to get into relationships right yeah, quick. Yeah, I, th I think we're gonna. Yeah, we're totally gonna slaughter this. Yeah, thing. I mean, yeah. we'll come back and then well, do we another spent like episode a whole on it. Thirty seconds, you know, but on <laughs> on our strategy here, it's just it's all always uh, organic. I, and I want to talk about relationships because again, we just got done saying like, first thing in the morning, your sacred time. Yeah. Is for what mindset? It's really also cultivating, generating, yeah. incubating, nurturing the relationship with yourself. Yeah. So why? Because of legacy, right? Like, you're going to die. Yeah. And you need taking shit with you. Yeah. So the only question is, okay, what am I going to leave behind? What have I contributed to humanity, the collective, in yeah. such a way that could <clears> shift <throat> it a little more towards, like, heaven on earth and unity, love, yeah. connection? And so, listen, I, I've said it on here before many times. Like, I believe the quality of our lives come down to the amount of quality relationships we have. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, because think about it. If your health was taken away, all your money, all your possessions, everything, and it's just you, what are you going to do? No. Yeah. Like, you're going to lean on your community, your circle, your tribe. Yeah? Yeah. Your family. And that, I don't mean blood related. And it's like, those are quality relationships. So, the only question that I ask myself is, what am I contributing? Because we're always contributing something, positive or negative. Yeah. Yes. You know what yep. I mean? So what am I contributing to those relationships? And again, if, if I'm not able to give something I don't possess, yeah. well, let me be responsible and give to myself and elevate that relationship so I bring that version as a contribution to my other yeah. relationships. And because we're going to talk about profession. What is that? Relationships? Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, less than... They're formal relationships, right? But at the end of the day, it's still the same, you know, same basic principle. I went to this event last night. And a lady, uh, a husband and wife, they own a, a very large, successful business and um, boom, just like hit massive success in a very short amount of time. <clears throat> Anyways, the um, their employees were there and there was a moment for uh, people to talk uh, about what they appreciate about the person that invited them to this event. And 10 employees stand up and one goes, yeah, uh, I'm here because this this person, the husband and wife, uh, I work for, excuse me, uh, I work with them. Yeah. They were going to say work for them. Like their philosophy in that organization yeah. is we're not the boss, you're not the employee. We work with yeah. each other. And it's like, you know what, man, that's an awesome culture and a, a beautiful thing that people want to be a part of. Who wants to work <coughs> for a boss yeah. and be told what to do? Like you had enough of that as a child, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, your parents. Yeah. And so anyways, I just wanted a tangent. Like that's a reflection like the culture they created is a reflection of the relationship they have with themselves. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So. Yeah. Well, I mean, and, and to kind of intertwine it, right? Like that, that's a, that's a system from the, uh, for the professional space as well. Yeah. It, so totally. So think about, and it, it, it may not be the sexiest thing, right? To think about your life in terms of different processes and systems and whatnot, but understand that there's, there's an order two things there's an order to achieving a healthy mindset there's an order to achieving a healthy spiritual space mm -hmm. um there's an order to you know to financial success the, like if, if you want to have great relationships you bet your ass there's gonna be an order to that yeah you can't have a great relationship with your parents if you never fucking call them <laughs> uh y yeah. y you know what i mean 100 percent. It, it, it's, it's well it, it, listen you know when you say <clears throat> systems and processes i'll be honest like part of my personality goes to a little resistant yeah. Because I don't like uh, methodical, calculated type things. Like yeah. I get bored. However, however, that's my relationship to it. And I know that's my bullshit. And I can reframe my relationship to yeah. it. Because you got to have a system. And listen, we've all heard this before. If you fail to plan out a strategy, yeah. you're by default planning to fail. Yeah. It, fail to plan, <laughs> planning to, <laughs> plan fail. to fail. You know what I mean? Like you yeah. got to have a process. So, yeah. Um, no, man, I love it. So the last one that we had, uh, was, um, no, I think we covered Oh, financial. Yeah. Financial. Yeah, financial. Yeah. yeah. Like do you got a fucking budget, a P and L yeah. income distribution buckets, you know, like this is really cool. And I, I share this with all my students, especially my agents in the brokerage is income distribution buckets. Like most people earn income, whether you're W2, 1099, self-employed doesn't matter. Money comes in income. Yeah. And you think it's 100% yours. Yeah. And then you're behind on bills. 
taxes are past due. You don't have the money to pay them. It's like, that's a fucked up system, bro. Um, one of the best things I can recommend out there, this was a game changer for me. Um, because I mean, I had one account I had, okay, cool. I, I, I got paid 10, 15, 20, 50,000 or whatever. Yeah. Like, Oh, I got 50,000. No, yeah. the fuck you do. Um, it's, uh, uh, profit first, uh, Mike McCow. It's, it's, it's a good, uh, it's a really good book. If you're a real estate investor, uh, profit first, um, is, uh, by, um, by David Richter is like emphasizes the, the real estate investment side. Okay. Um, but it, you know, those principles of profit first, uh, uh principles are, are solid. It, it just, you know, it walks you through this whole system of, of allocating your financials. You're yeah. still going to have to earn money, make money. Of you're you're going to have systems for marketing but, and all that stuff. Well, I'll say this. So knowing what to do with it is important. Exactly. That's where a lot so of drop off. if you want to know what to do with your money, here's a, a good tip. So, <clears> uh, years ago, many years ago, uh, I finally broke a hundred thousand as a realtor. Right. And I was like, yes. Um, and then, but I found myself still broke and I was like, yeah. okay, I'm going to make more money. And I did. And I started making a lot of money. I was making 400,000 within just a couple years, like three years. And lo and behold, I was still fucking broke. <laughs> I'm like, how could this be possible? I just four X my income and I'm still in the same boat. Yeah. And I realized more money will never fix the problem. It's my relationship to money. Thousand it's an energy. Percent. Right. And so here's what I did. I started learning, training myself how to live off of 40 percent of my income. You're like 40 percent. Yeah, it's really a lot easier than you think. Money comes in. OK, ten thousand dollar commission check. Great. I get 40 percent into my personal checking account because yeah. the money goes into my business. Right. And then I get a distribution. Twenty percent goes to taxes. A percent goes to my investment account, and that includes debt reduction and investing and all of that. And then I got an education bucket too. Like if you're not paying yourself first for your education, investing into you, like who the fuck's gonna do it? Yeah. Like no one's coming to save you. And it feels really good when something comes across your awareness, a seminar, a coach, whatever the case is, and you're like, oh my gosh, man, that's gonna really support me. But I'm broke. Yeah, you like, can't take the opportunity. No. We, we do something very similar. So I, I, I got fancy with my names, and I have, uh, I have four main accounts. Um, well, now I added a, an investment holdings account. But uh, I had four main accounts when I, when I started doing this and getting like more you know, systematic about it. Uh, the create account, wealth account, live account, and flow account. Okay. So I have a create wealth, live, and flow. Like that's this what sounds pretty. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I feel like I nailed it. I was like, man, <laughs> create, well, Those resonate with live, you. Yeah. and flow. Like, man, I love it. I can get that tattooed. Um, so anyways, but so my create account, it's, it's for memories. It's vacations. It's, it's, mm -hmm. it's you know, it's my you know, discretionary, you know, yeah. income. I do whatever, you know, I don't know. We take a trip to Costa Rica or, you know, whatever. Like, it, it's... Experience I, I, life. Yeah, a percentage yeah. of it goes into that account. That account's always, you know, money comes into my, my wealth account, which is like where I capture all the income. Okay. And then what I, what I, where I keep the, um, uh, a good, usually 20 to 30% stays in the wealth account. Uh, before you know, before any I, any you know distributions or whatever. But anyways, I have that, um, and and you look at the uh, the create account. I was like, all right, cool. Let's in my head, it's let's create some memories. Let's create you know yeah. fun times. Let's it's it's not uh you know I'm gonna pay the bills with this account. I'm gonna pay taxes with this account. I have a tax account, but um but it's it's um you know it, I don't know. It's it's a good place to start understanding how your money flows through your accounts. Yes. Uh, the live account is where I have my home expenses. Okay, my mortgage goes, you know, gets paid. Mm -hmm. Actually, yeah, mortgage gets paid out of that. My cars get paid from the company because uh, that's smart. And then um, uh, bills and, you know, utilities yes. and groceries and that sort of thing, right? So um, it, it's like I had no idea how much we were spending until I started dialing that in. And the flow account, it's, you know, any, if I have stuff on credit card stuff, I put stuff on credit cards, so I get miles and all kinds mm -hmm. of stuff. So it, go, it goes into the flow account. Um, but yeah, like breaking it down, like that system for the financial side of things, it's... Well, if you don't start putting money in those accounts, they're never going to grow. Yeah. And so a lot of people, you may be in a position where you're like, Justin, what the hell are you talking <clears> about, man? If I put X percent in this account and da, 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 right? And I'm left with 40%, yeah. I'm not going to pay my bills. Cool. But do this. Yeah. When the money comes in, distribute it to those accounts anyways. Yeah. And then here's what you do. If you have to, like if you put the money in those accounts, you have access to it. But like energetically, you just spent it, yeah. right? 
And so if you spent the money and there's a requirement, I still need $3,000 to pay my living expenses and APS and food and right. right? Your mind can go into solution mode. Yeah. You can go into, ah, I've been here before and I always figure it out. I'm open to yeah. receive opportunities, income, abundance flowing to me. Right. Now, <clears throat> let's say you don't. Can you go into that other account and play, play a little game with yourself? Okay, there's uh, $1,850. Okay, well, I really want to keep $1,500 in that account. So I'm going to take out $350. And this account, I'm going to take out a little bit, just enough to piece it all together to still live, eat, not be evicted, foreclosed on, right? Yeah. But here's the power. You started to develop the behavior and the relationship to putting in those accounts. Eventually, if you do that and you got to borrow from the accounts, fine. Yeah. Fine. Do what you must do to survive and thrive. But if you wait until you have more income to do this, you'll never do it. Yeah. Because that's a <clears> shitty <throat> system. Just get started and distribute the money. If you have to, pull it back out. There's there's this one thing though, you know, also, not though, but also about distributing into different, you know, different places. Like when I put money into the create account, I get excited. Yeah, dude. and you don't want to take it out. I was like, Shit, I want to put more money into that yeah. account because I know that's the, those are fun times. Those are vacations with you know with the family. Those are experiences. Those are you know what I mean. Yeah, and and it just creates this this whole you know sense of excitement as opposed to just having everything in one place where everything commingles and you, you don't know if you have enough for a vacation. Or you know if you're coming or going and what the fuck's going on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So well, so. I'll tell you, I, I had this um, private coaching client and um, she was you know pretty successful as an agent. She was making about a buck and a quarter a year mm -hmm. <coughs> from her real estate sales. And uh, she started coaching with me. And in less than 12 months, um, she just completely exploded by adjusting her mindset. Oh, and she was always broke at $125,000 a year. And I taught her this income distribution along with some other things. That year, she made four fourteen. All of her accounts were full. And she's like, I've never had this level of liberty in my life. Yeah. And I created it. <clears throat> thank you for the strategy. I'm yeah. like, well, thank you for not thanking me for because I didn't do shit but give you information, right? <laughs> yeah. But it's like the sense of accomplishment. Accomplishment, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And like the only time I feel that we really respect ourselves is when we complete a thing. Yeah. Whether that's your morning ritual or putting money in your wealth accounts or priming the relationship with it's yourself. It's a win. It's important to that. recognize the wins. Yeah, so. man. It, you got to take inventory of those yeah. because – the personality always wants to see where you're falling short. Yeah. So the only way to counteract that, create new evidence right. that, that contradicts. Build it up. Yeah. Build it up. I love it. So, man, it's a really good uh, good uh, take on on systems, right? Again, it's not just business systems that mm -hmm. we need as entrepreneurs. We need businesses for minds, or I'm sorry, systems for mindset, for health, for relationships, yeah. for finances. You don't need a spreadsheet right? for your morning practice. Yeah. Whereas you, you might in your business from tracking yeah. KPIs. That's different. <clears throat> yeah. You don't have a, a spreadsheet for, for your morning ritual? Hell no. Weird. Uh, <laughs> no, so, um, but yeah, uh, Justin, where can somebody get a hold of you? Yeah, justinthorstead.com or on YouTube, my channel, Justin Thorstead JT Seminars, uh, and my cell phone, 602. Three four eight eight five three four. Boom! Is that your yeah, real so number? Is that your real? That's phone my cell, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Please go to the uh, YouTube channel and subscribe. Yeah, you'll find these episodes what's, on there. Uh, what's too. the YouTube channel again? Um, the actual. Yeah, just search Justin Thorset. Justin Thorset. JT Seminars. Yeah. JT Seminars. Justin Thorset. We'll 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 have him work on that and then just he's cleaning he's it gonna, up. He's gonna. I'm gonna get him to do it for me. Cause yeah. Yeah. So, uh, like yeah, system. and <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, hook us up, do us a favor, subscribe, like, and share. Um, send this podcast out to somebody who you think might, might benefit from it. If you like the content that we're doing for you, putting together, uh, put a lot of effort and, and, uh, and um, energy and good vibes into everything that we do. So uh, every share means a lot. We appreciate it. If you want to get a hold of me um, or have a conversation, which is what this whole thing is about, uh, you can find me on social media, Rafael Cortez, CEO. And, of course, the CEO Pulse podcast on iTunes uh, and my YouTube channel at Rafael Cortez CEO. All right. Um, so with that being said, crushed it, dude. Yeah, awesome. It was good brother. talk. That was fun. Yeah. All right, fam, catch up, guys, on the next one. Stay focused. You got this. <laughs>